Greetings, Cyber Dogs. This is Rendog coming at you from outside the mob spawner in this Let's Play Minecraft 1.3 survival series. And in the previous episode, we were building this mob spawner trap thingy. In fact, for the last two episodes, we've been building this mob spawner trap thingy. And guys, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all of you for all the amazing hints and tips you've given me. Um, all the amazing redstone help you've been giving me, guys. I'm a redstone freaking new, but with your help, I'm going to be a redstone boss. And um, in this episode, we're going to be transforming the mob spawner into a dual action mob spawner. That's right, guys. You guys have given me a, a, an amazing advice, and so many of you has, have suggested the following. This is what we're going to be doing. This level, which you can see I've lowered by one, um, is going to be the fall trap. So when the water is off, the, the mobs are going to fall out of the butthole, hit the ground, and die. And any of them that survive are going to get an arrow to the face, and they're going to die. And then I'm going to be able to flush their loots from the platform into this collecting area and i'll be able to get all this stuff but millions of you guys suggested well not millions <laughs> but at least 10 suggested that what i do is i make piston um a, p a piston pushing platform that makes a xp farm right above this platform down here guys so that's exactly what i'm going to do so let me explain to you you cyber dogs what i'm going to do i'm going to be putting pistons over here that that on the flick of a lever over here are going to push blocks um to this level here and they're actually going to close off the butthole and then over here is going to be the murder hole the, the murder hole so when i want xp all i got to do is turn on this lever up in here and uh, then i can come up here and collect xp and when i don't want to collect xp i can just flick the lever and um, the mobs will fall and die and i'll just collect their loots so that is a fantastic piece of information and um advice that you guys have given me i freaking love you guys man thank you so much for that and um i've got my pistons i've got my slime balls and i'm going to make my four sticky pistons um and we're going to be we're going to get ready for crafting baby mm, damn so what we want to be doing, guys, is closing up the butthole, right? So what we need to make sure is that um, we've got a piece of, um, oops, a block pushing in from here, right? So from this level over here. So that's where the blocks are going to be. And on this side, um, this is where the blocks are going to be right so it's these two blocks and these two blocks are going to get pushed together to form a solid platform and then those mobs are going to are going to um well they're going to bite the dust basically <laughs> and it is going to be sweet D -d damn and of course um all we got to do now is place these um these pistons in the right direction so let's get crafting guys man i have been enjoying working with redstone so much um it's been really sweet um, I, a lot of you guys express the fact that you haven't done a lot of uh, redstone work, if any redstone work at all. And at first, I didn't want, really want to do any redstone work because I was like, man, redstone work is, is kind of boring, you know. I, I don't know if I have the patience for redstone, but let me tell you guys, redstone really transforms Minecraft into a whole different um, ball game, basically. And the way that I was explaining it to my brother, Trugaxe, is that um, it's kind of like... It's kind of like Lego Tech It. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever played Lego Tech It, but Lego Tech It is like um, it's like a very advanced form of Lego, right? And you know, we always compare Minecraft to Lego, and I think that Lego uh, Lego Tech It is a very apt um, comparison for Minecraft Tech It. I don't know if it's called Lego Tech It. I think it's called Lego Technics. I think that's what it's called. But uh, you Lego fans out there will be able to clarify that for me. Um, right, so we have set the new sticky pistons, and and as you can see, they're going to be pushing these blocks in here. They're going to be creating a solid platform, and then we're going to have access to the murder hole up in this business, and we're going to murderize the asses of these mobs, man. It is going to be sweet. So let's just block this off now. Now what we need to do is get the redstone wiring, right? So what we need to do is get our lever of death, which is going to be over here, and we're going to need to run redstone um, all along here now remember what we did for those pistons was um, add these bad boys over here um, so that the power is what's well, going to have enough freaking power um, to actually function correctly so let us get our redstone running um, I believe oopsie that is not redstone 
This is the redstone. The redstone of death. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's flick it. Okay, perfect. Look at those bad boys. They are running beautifully. Um, and now what we need to do is run the redstone around the perimeter of the mob spawner tower. And I think around about here, we probably need another um, bit of gas. Now, guys, what I was doing wrong in the previous episode was facing the repeaters the wrong way, guys. So when you're working on your own redstone um, uh, tools or your own redstone machines, remember that which, whichever way you face and place the repeater, that's the way that the signal is going to go. So the signal is going to go up here. And then what the repeater does is it strengthens your signal. Um, so that because your signal runs out in eight blocks, I think, or, or less. I'm not ex entirely sure on the specifics of it, but um, that's how long it takes your repeaters to, your, your, your signal to dry out. So uh, you've got to keep that signal going. Um, and and see that, so the signal is going to come through here and then in through into the repeater and into the piston, and that's going to make it work, right? So let's run this redstone around like this. And then we're going to have to come around like this. So the mole hole is going to have to get a, 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 a retreatment, um, a whole bunch of retreatment. So guys, let's see if this is going to be working. OMG, man. Let's check it out. Blam! Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So this is going to be the murder hole right here, guys. Um, but we need to make... And, and what's awesome is we're going to murder the mobs. And then we can literally just open the, the butthole. <laughs> and all their loots are going to fall in there and then we can flush it so it's actually um it's actually a beautiful beautiful thing um it's working absolutely beautifully so i'm very very happy with that so we need to work on the murder hole now and i think what we're going to do is um we either we should either have the murder hole here but maybe we shouldn't have the murder hole here because um there's you know these pistons and stuff in the way so what i'm thinking is maybe what we need to do in fact what? I'm out of cobblestone. Can you believe it? Man, I've been using a lot of cobblestone um, in this episode. What I was thinking is maybe the murder hole should be ab above here. So if we made if we made um, a stairwell up here, then the murder hole could be in there, if you know what I'm saying. Um, man, we are out of cobblestone. Can you believe that? That is unbelievable. Um, okay, so... We need to figure out where the murder hole is going to be. If we make the murder hole, let's do some experimenting. Let's see. If we make the murder hole one level above here, right? So now we've got some more cobblestone, so we can actually place it above these um, the pistons. So if this is the murder hole over here, the mobs are going to be able to see me though. That's the thing. See, I've got to be I've got to be underneath them. Um, so that's why I think we probably need to make the murder hole um, over here here right so if we dig this way and just fill in the gaps when we see them whoa okay so there's the roof um, of Grand Mulhall station right so and there is Grand Mulhall station itself man I'm so, I've been distracted I just want to take a look <sighs> beautiful <laughs> all right so any any hoozle um, so this is where the, the murder hole is going to start. So what what we could do is, um, if we dropped, so if we may, if we drop the murder hole one level, that's not, that's not quite going to work though, is it? Because we've got. Um, Well, it could work because we've already got this natural glass platform, which is actually quite cool, I think. Um, and then all we all we need to do is add, I'm guessing, like this, and then glass over here, right? So they can't actually see me, and I can murderize them here. I can hack their asses, bam, 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 bam. See, I've got full range. And then um, that is actually perfect. So let us, let's get this whole thing glassed up. That should actually work perfectly as a murder hole, I think. And um, what we need to do now is make a, a stairway coming up here. So I think we will uh, definitely work on the, as the aesthetics of this whole um, system at some point. 
but in this episode I just want to get the mechanics working um, so I mean maybe actually maybe it needs to be made out of glass I, I've been actually smelting some more glass here just in case we need a bit of glass um, and we got a got a little bit of XP for that also which is which is sweet and um, right because what we need though is we need to be able to get into the collection thing um, easily right so what what we could do is make the the stairway this this way right so we could put the stairs here and then dig this out a bit right so this should be the level of the murder hole right here okay I'm digging that I'm feeling that we just take this out a bit make a bit more space what we'll do is open up this um, this whole area here a bit give us a little bit more breathing room right let us fill in the um, spaces that we broke over here because I, d I don't really want to mess with this aesthetic over here I really like this open space like this that we can see everything going on um, and let's see okay so murder hole goes up there maybe what I need to do is um, make this glass actually but if I make that glass then we're not gonna have a really good view so I think this is all right for now all right guys this is where I want to get your feedback man how do you think we should do this how do you think we should um, complete the, the the murder hole over here are you happy with the positioning of the murder hole over here or do you think that it's it's gonna be better suited somewhere else um, hit me up in the comment section below guys I need your help all right so let's just fill in um, this jazz over here right let's just make it a little bit more official so this is the murder hole right over here um, and this is the what the hell man that was some buggy buggy business going on there I think the glass is quite buggy to walk on um, all right excellent excellent so let us patch up um, we actually don't need all of all of this jazz anymore um, it's just looking ugly but we do need all of this stuff here so um, we're gonna have to find a way to fix all of this up at some point once we've got the whole system working right perfect perfecto let's just fill up everything okay excellent excellent so let's go to the other side also and fill in um, the gaps here bam and kablam and kablam all right we're gonna be fixing up the aesthetics of, of this business um, very very soon guys don't worry I just want to get everything working now maybe what we should do is move the um, what we could do is move the lever to this position over here maybe so we just go flick yeah we definitely need we definitely do need to move the lever um, somewhere else that's for sure so maybe what we need to do is move the lever over here right and then add a cobblestone over here right that's looking good that's looking good and then we break this lever and uh, where, where's the other lever okay it's over there right so what we need to do is run redstone like this and then kablam it works like a charm excellent um, and then of course we're gonna fill in all of this space over here all of this is gonna disappear you won't even see it it's gonna be behind the scenes so when you're in the murder hole all you got to do is go kablam <laughs> oh man this is the sweetest there we go that is absolutely freaking perfect um, I'm so happy with that let's just clean up some of this dirt let's just get rid of some of this jazz um, I just want to make sure that there's there's no light coming in here and messing with the um, with messing with the spawn rate um, but of course we <laughs> we don't want anything to spawn um, any mobs to spawn here either so um, hopefully they won't they might spawn in here though which is a problem hmm. 
let's get it all cozy up in here okay so well if they do spawn in here that uh, I guess that's all right um, we should be okay I think um, let's just get a, a little bit more cobblestone can you guys believe that I've almost worn through an uh, unbreaking three pickaxe it's it's absolutely crazy seriously um, but un I mean without that enchant I would have already gone through like three diamond pickaxes so if you guys are still unsure whether you should enchant or not um, I would say absolutely freaking yes enchant enchant your asses off is, is would, would be my advice all right so that's looking good um, let's see if we can we can't actually fill that up we can do it like that all right so excellent looking good so we go up here flick the switch bam working like a charm now why is there light coming in there see it's actually making light somewhere hmm that's weird oh it could it's it's because of this actually so we need man we need a we need a whole ton more cobblestone we're just gonna let's just mine this wall away we're gonna do it anyway so we might as well just get all the loots get in my belly cobblestone mm. man building this whole system reminds me so much of um this achievement that i got when i was young that i've always considered like one of my greatest achievements and um i had a a, a set of toys called capsella I don't know if any of you guys have, um, know what that is. Maybe some of my older subscribers will know what I'm talking about. But Capsella was like, um, it was kind of like Lego. But what you had were, the, were, were spheres. And in the spheres were these gears, right? So different spheres had different gears that did different stuff. Oops. And um, um, so say, for example, in one of the gears was like four cogs that would, um, and then out of the, the sphere was four um, pistons or uh, four axles right and then those axles would turn in different directions um, depending on the cogs inside of the, the sphere and some of them only had like one for example and um, only had one axle and only went in one direction and you had um, engines that um, you would build that would power the whole thing and you could actually make um, some quite interesting and complicated machines um, using these these axles inside spheres and um, I once made Oopsie. Um, I once made a boat out of this, um, out of Capsella, and the idea was I was going to save the drowning insects in my swimming pool, right? Um, so I made this boat and I, I launched it in the swimming pool, and, and it was, f it, it, fl it floated, obviously, and the idea was that it would float along and um, it would collect. Uh oh, we're digging into the, uh, the dogolith over here. Um, it would collect any insects that were drowning on the top. So the idea was that if the insect was drowning, it, it, it would jump onto the boat um, as it went past. And of course, the, the machine that sucks up the dirt from the, um, from the swimming pool um, created a current in the swimming pool. So um, the insects went, the, the, the boat went around with the current and um, the insects were also going around uh, with the current. So they would like hop on to the boat. And you know, what it actually worked and i actually saved the lives of many many an insect and man I, it was a proud moment um in my childhood i was like man i'm like dr doolittle damn <laughs> i am the savior of insects all right so we have filled that in um <laughs> let's let's see if we've lowered the light content now um slightly i think the the, the light's coming in from the other side also um, so let's just quickly pop around to the other side and then what we're going to do is jump into normal mode and test this bad boy out and see if we're actually um, we're actually killing some stuff which would just be epics 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 um, right let's have a look yeah this is where the lights coming from I found you your light butthole right let's cover that up man but I'm out of cobblestone again look at me hunting around for cobblestone Give me cobblestone. Give me the cobblestone. God damn it. All right. For now, we're just going to have to use dirt. All right. There we go. So let us go and check if we haven't broken our circuits and everything's still working um, as, as planned. Hang on. What's going on here? Let's just make sure that that's not 
leaking any light. Let us check for any light leaks. Well, there are a few. I'm not entirely sure where that light's coming from. Is it actually coming from, um, from here, from these pistons over here? Nope. Interesting. All right. Well, m well hopefully it's just a, a glitch in the matrix and uh, it's not going to have any consequence. Although, let's just check. I'm holding shift now. Yeah, this is all blocked up over here. So, um, that's interesting. <coughs> not entirely sure why we're seeing light, but um, the mob trap should still work. Is the light, <coughs> is the light coming from the redstone? Is that where it's coming from? Probably. All right. Anyway, guys, let us just go quickly test all of our circuits. Make sure everything is working. Flush. It is coming from the redstone. And what have we done? Oh, we, oh goodness gracious. We've actually, um, we've actually, <laughs> in building the, the butthole plug, <laughs> we've blocked off the water source. So that's annoying. Um, so if we actually lower this, and then dig through here. You can hear the water, but uh, you can't see the water. So the water's actually, um, the water's actually here. Yeah. So let's get rid of these, these blocks of it here. Let's get out of here. No. <laughs> no. No. I broke my freaking circuit. Oh man, that is so annoying. Um, but I've actually done this quite a few times already, so <laughs> I know how to repair it quite quickly. Um, so we've got to drain the water, as you can see, and then um, and then we can just easily repair the redstone. There we go. And we just add back the blocks. Oopsie. Um, it's got to be one of these bad boys. And we just fill it up again, just like that take away the the lever and then this lever will work there we go so the flusher is working perfectly okay guys this is it we are about to test out the new butthole with the butthole plug <laughs> and we're going to see if it works so let's switch to normal and hopefully we won't have to switch back to peaceful for a while um, and hopefully the butthole is going to start delivering um, let us just open up the butthole for now to try get the mob spawning okay so the, the butthole is open um, now I wonder if that redstone is actually oh perfect but he didn't die when he landed so maybe it's not far enough um, it's not a far enough fall so let's close the butthole and, and let's see if the murder hole works and they can't actually see us and let's see if we can get back to um, grinding some XP baby let's just shoot this butthole in the face Oops, it looks like we may have broken our dispenser circuit somewhere along the line. But it uh, looks like the butthole has delivered, and we should have someone in here. Yep, we got someone in there. Bam! Oh, guys, this is working perfectly. Oh, this is the happiest day ever. I'm just going to leave it now to run. And um, I'm, I'm kind of curious as to why the, um, the redstone circuit isn't working anymore. What did we break? What did we break? Uh, it looks like we may have removed the... Um, oh, of course, because the dispensers are actually one level up now. The dispensers are actually here. So all we got to do is raise the level of the... Of the um, let's just get some light up in here, man. We just got to raise the level of the, the repeaters. And um, that should work absolutely perfectly so guys we actually got there in the end man it has been an epic whoa okay <laughs> they were firing i thought someone was, something was firing at me um that was confusing so there we go guys we've actually managed to um completely wire our first redstone trap 
um, and it's it's only taken three episodes. I, I was 100% sure it was going to take longer than that, but um, we have done this very, very quickly, very, very efficiently. And um, as you can see, the butthole is delivering absolutely beautifully. Well, it was. Um, I think we're a little bit too close, but eat arrow. I think I may be out of arrows, maybe. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I, I may be breaking the circuit. Um. Hmm. All right, guys. Let's just get this to work before we end it. Before we go up to the dogolith and end this episode. So I think the um, the redstone actually has to be on the same level as the repeaters. Um, that's what's going on here. So let's just quickly get some redstone up on the same level as the repeaters. Um, and then that should work perfectly. So what we need is like a little step over here, right? Let's just get rid of that. Actually, that should be fine. There should be a piece of redstone down there. So here we go. There we go. Now they're going into the repeaters, right? And that should be connected. So if we... If we flick this, there we go. So, brilliant. Our dispenser is working now. There you can see the arrows. Now, let's do a little flush. And get, all, get all of the loots that we got. And, of course, this is also going to flush the XP from the, the mob trap if any XP gets uh, trapped up there. There you can see all the goods are coming down. And uh, this is just such an epic day, man. I am, uh, I am so happy. It's, it is midnight right now. And I, let me tell you something. I am going to go to bed. A happy dog. Mm. Um, seriously, I'm so happy. We're going to have to do something about this here also. There's, there's still a lot of work to be done here, guys. Um, there is no doubt about that, but um, I am so happy with what we've achieved. Oh, man, goodness gracious, this is sweet. Um, and for now, we'll just, we'll just let the butthole deliver because we're only three levels away from level 30 and we can enchant our third pickaxe and hopefully get fortune, guys. So let us head up to the freaking dogolith and let us... Get some of your bastards onto the dogolith. Mm. Um, and man, this has just been the sweetest um, last five episodes of Minecraft. I've been loving it, guys. I hope you have been enjoying it as much as I have. And if you have, you can show me the love by sharing this series with your mates. That's the, the best way for you guys to help me. Is if, you, if every single one of you just share this video with one friend, we can increase the size of the Cyberdog pack. And you guys can help me out that way man if you guys want to want to help me out um that is the best way to do it guys so let us get our freaking let's get some cyber dogs on the freaking dogolith i think we're going to do two entries today just because i'm a happy dog and we've had a really good last three episodes i'm so happy with the mob trap it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing way back when i first had a vision for it so um let us get you onto the dogolith all right, so today we are going to start with YouTube subscribers on the left. Four of your bastards onto the dogolith. We've got Mr. Stung. Stinger. Man, a stinger that got stung. Damn, that is some, that is some freaking crazy inception business. We've got Leaf Bob One. <laughs> That's an awesome name. We've got Night Hawk. Uh, Hawk. Night Hawk. Eight Foul. 1-1, one, one, and we've got Vader, 23,000, man, 23,000 Vaders on YouTube, damn, <laughs> and from dogcraft.net, on the right, we've got Steamy Drew Bags, <laughs> that is definitely one of my favorite names um, for the dog of the so far, that is epics, um, we've got Taxi Man, 628, and we've got um, G.O., Black Knights 91 91 I, I can't make a one but you know, you know who you are my friend and we've got Ben Dog 579 man Ben Dog that is a sweet name I hope your real name is Ben um, because that would just make it even sweeter so guys that is the eight entries for the dogolith today i hope you enjoyed it and remember if you want to get your asses onto the dogolith you need to be a subscriber of this youtube channel or you need to go and join the cyber dog community at dogcraft.net and i choose randomly from the subs and from um, a list on dogcraft.net you can go there and put your youtube channel name on dogcraft and i choose randomly from that freaking list and of course, I don't accept any spam. So if you spam me, you will never get in the dogolith. You hear me, you bastards. 
You know who I'm talking about. This pickaxe, your ass. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Guys, this has been Raindog playing Minecraft 1.3 Survival. And if you've enjoyed it, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're doing, man, but you better subscribe. Hit that subscribe button because there's loads more coming from this series. And of course, loads more coming from th my series with my brother, Real Gox or True Gox, whichever you want to call him. We're, we're doing a Minecraft Take It series. And if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out, guys. But for now, this is Renog signing off. Until the next video, thank you for watching. Good freaking bye.